As you know, a profit-minded truck operator wants a reliable, dependable engine with low upkeep and operating costs. Let's see how Dodge compares with Ford in this respect. To begin with, the Dodge engine gives greater economy because it has a higher compression ratio, 7 to 1, while Ford's is only 6.8 to 1. What's more, the Dodge floating oil intake gives added dependability because it draws in only clean oil from just below the surface, protecting the Dodge engine from sludge and dirt. Ford's oil intake is fixed near the bottom of the crankcase, where sludge and dirt can accumulate. Then in addition, Dodge's two fuel filters give better protection against dirt which may come in with a gasoline. Ford has only one fuel filter. Also Dodge, but not Ford, has a water distributing tube which cools the exhaust valve seats. Thus Dodge owners benefit from cooler, longer lasting exhaust valves which give higher engine efficiency. For better starting, Dodge provides a higher capacity generator, 45 amps, which keeps the battery fully charged regardless of extra lights and the heater. Ford has only a 35 amp generator. And speaking of the battery, Dodge's battery is located in an easy-to-get-at spot under the cab floor where it gets greater protection from heat, while Ford's battery is under the hood, a location which it can makes it hard to get at. And notice that the Ford has a front opening hood so that it's difficult for mechanics or servicemen to reach under the hood near the back. The Dodge hood opens from the side so that it's easy to get at the engine for routine service. This means the Dodge owner saves both money and time in engine service. Because the Dodge hood is rigidly braced down the center from the cowl to the grill, the whole front end is sturdy and rattle-free. The Ford hood does not have this center bracing. Okay, now do you see why we say the Dodge gives lower upkeep and maintenance costs and greater dependability than Ford? Yeah, that's okay as far as you've gone, but look, I do a lot of city driving. How about easy handling? How do Dodge and Ford stack up? It's Dodge again, my friend. Let's check some chassis features. Take wheelbases. In both the half-ton and three-quarter ton classes, Dodge wheelbases are six inches shorter than those of Ford. The Dodge shorter wheelbases help provide easier maneuvering and driving, which means the Dodge truck can do more work per day. Another reason why a Dodge is easier to drive is the Dodge cross steering, which permits the same turning angle for either left or right turns, a definite aid to maneuverability. Ford needs more space for left turns than for right. On left turns, Dodge half-ton trucks have a turning diameter that is shorter than Ford's by six and three-quarter feet. On right turns, Dodge is shorter by six and one-quarter feet. The Dodge turning diameter is shorter than Ford by eight feet on a left turn and five and a half feet on a right turn. Hey, that's okay. 
Being able to turn that short means the Dodge driver can get around faster and make more deliveries. Sure, and that's only part of the Dodge chassis advantages. Now, you probably know that a loaded truck carries most of its weight on the rear axle. So don't you think the rear wheels should have extra braking power? Well, uh, sure. Then you'll be interested to know both Dodge models use dual cylinders on rear wheel brakes. This provides a cylinder for each brake shoe. However, Ford provides only one cylinder for both shoes, and therefore does not provide the extra braking force that Dodge gives. And I don't think you can beat Dodge Cycle Bond brake linings for long wear, because they're bonded to the shoe and not riveted like Ford's. Dodge linings have one-third more usable thickness. What's more, on the half-ton Ford, the parking brake works through the regular rear wheel brakes. However, on the Dodge, the parking brake is independent. It operates on the drive shaft. Therefore, the Dodge driver has extra protection in case of emergencies. And then, too, the Dodge owner benefits from longer lining life. Wear on the Dodge parking brake can only occur while the parking brake itself is applied. Of course, with Ford, wear occurs whenever the regular brakes are used. And now, here's big news on the new Dodge chassis. Two important new Dodge features that cannot even be approached by Ford. Let's take shock absorbers first. Dodge and Dodge alone provides Auriflow shock absorbers which are a Chrysler Corporation exclusive. They give a truly astounding improvement in riding comfort and load protection, especially for fragile loads. You see, Auriflow shock absorbers automatically adjust to road conditions. Consequently, they give a wonderfully smooth ride on rough roads as well as on normal roads. And then there's another important Dodge exclusive. Dodge Gyro Fluid Drive one of the greatest design features ever offered on a truck. You see, fluid drive forms a fluid coupling between the engine and the clutch. The engine power is actually cushioned by oil. With fluid drive, the driving power of the engine is applied with smoothness that's never been equal before. This makes a difference in operation you've got to experience to believe. Fluid drive saves wear and tear and greatly improves the life of more than 80 drive line parts from the clutch right on back to the rear tires. What's more, fluid drive makes a tremendous improvement in driving ease because there's less gear shifting. The Dodge can be slowed down to a very low speed and accelerated again without jolting or jerking. At stoplights, you can stop shift to second and idle in gear and then start off smoothly in second gear. And when you stop on a hill, you can hold the truck steady with a slight touch on the accelerator instead of having to keep your foot jammed on the brake. What's more, fluid drive lets you start up that hill smoothly without the quick jerk you can get when you shift your foot from the brake to the accelerator, as you must do in the Ford. You see what this adds up to? Fluid drive makes driving easier and less fatiguing, so the drivers can make more calls per day with less strain. In addition, fluid drive protects the truck by reducing drive line wear. And finally, fluid drive gives wonderful additional protection for fragile loads. I think you'll agree with me that these fluid drive features all combine to save money and improve operation for Dodge truck owners. And remember, you can get fluid drive only on Dodge. It's available on half-ton, three-quarter ton, and one-ton trucks. Sounds good, all right. But how about the other chassis parts? Clutch, springs, and so on. Dodge is superior in all those units. For example, in the half-tons, the Dodge standard clutch has 15 square inches more frictional area than Ford. And that really means something in greater clutch life. And then, too, Dodge front springs are six inches longer than Ford's, while the rear springs are seven inches longer. That extra length gives extra comfort and load protection. And finally, Dodge provides extra comfort through the way the front spring shackles are located at the rear of the front spring. Rear shackled springs flatten and absorb road shocks, but front shackled springs, like Ford's, transmit shocks through the steering mechanism to the driver. 
You see now why we confidently claim that Dodge is more comfortable than Ford? Well, I agree you've proved your comfort story, all right. All right, then. I guess we've proved Dodge superiority in every feature that counts with truck owners. Because already, we've shown that Dodge gives more in payload, in volume and capacity, in dependable construction, more in safety and comfort than Ford. We've proved that Dodge provides easier handling, smoother operation, and that you can expect longer truck life than Ford. In other words, we've proved that Dodge does more for truck owners than Ford. <laughs>